Hey, I'm Troy Dean. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a content experiment in your Google Analytics account directly from within your WordPress website. Why would you want to do this? Well, running content experiments allows you to split test or A-B test a certain web page against a variation. So you might just change a headline, or you might change the color of a call to action button, or you might change the text of the call to action. Or you might be testing a home page with a video versus a home page without a video. Now, there's a couple of reasons you might want to run content experiments, mainly to increase conversions or increase the goals that you're achieving on your website, whether they be signups or sales or time on site or bounce rate, whatever, whatever you're optimizing your site for. But the other reason I like running content experiments is because it helps me learn about my audience so that I can then provide them with better content and a more targeted website moving forward. So setting up a content experiment on your WordPress website using your Google Analytics account can sometimes be a little bit clunky if you're not familiar with code. You have to get the code from Google Analytics and copy and paste it into the right pages on your WordPress website to make sure the experiment runs properly. Well, we've solved that problem with the Google Analyticator Content Experiments plugin. So the Google Analyticator plugin is a free plugin that bridges the gap between your WordPress website and your Google Analytics account. And then the Content Experiments add-on is a paid add-on that allows you to then run content experiments in your Google Analytics account directly from within your WordPress website. I know it sounds a bit complicated, but it's really quite simple. Let's take a look. The first thing the Analyticator plugin does is displays your analytics data here in your WordPress dashboard. And you can filter this data by these date selectors. Now let's take a look at how easy it is to set up a content experiment in your Google Analytics account from right within your WordPress website. Come over to the Google Analytics menu item and click on Experiments. Here is a list of previous experiments we have run. If you click the star icon, the plugin will display the results of this experiment on your dashboard. To create a new experiment, click the Create New Experiment button. Give your experiment a name. Choose the page that you wish to set as the original page from this drop-down list of pages and posts in your WordPress website. Give the original page a name that will mean something to you when you run the experiment. Now choose a variation that you would like to test against the original page and give the variation a meaningful name as well. Choose the objective of your experiment. You can choose from several types of objectives in your Google Analytics account. In this case, I'm going to choose one of our goals, which is a subscriber. You can also choose the percentage of traffic to give this experiment. And under the advanced options, you can choose the minimum time the experiment will run and the confidence threshold. Remember, the higher the confidence threshold, the longer the experiment will need to run to give you an accurate result. Once you're happy with your settings, click on publish to start your experiment. Your experiment is now running. To include the results of this experiment on your WordPress dashboard, click the star icon here. Any experiment where we have clicked the star icon will now be displayed here on our WordPress dashboard. Well, I hope that makes sense and I hope you can now see how powerful Google Analytics is at helping you run content experiments and how easy that is to do now in your WordPress website using the Google Analyticator plugin. Leave me some feedback under the video and of course there will be a link under the video where you can grab your version of the Google Analyticator Experiments plugin. See you next time.